Sterling, we're here at Portsmouth. Um, tell me about um, how this week went for you. What was your experience like out here? Oh, uh, it was a great week. You know, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, meeting new guys, um, you know, having fun, you know, with my teammates out there on the floor, you know, the coaches, uh, talking to the different scouts. And, uh, you know, it was, it was just a lot of fun for me. It was an experience uh, I definitely won't forget, and I didn't take it for granted. What was your mindset going into this week? What, what, what were some of the things you were looking to show? What were you looking to accomplish out here? Um, I was looking to win the championship. You know, that was the ultimate goal, but, you know, it fell short uh, the second day. I was just looking, looking to come out and uh, be aggressive, you know, on both ends of the floor, you know, uh, and uh, just help my team win. You know, whatever I do, you just play my game, you know, uh, rebound, you know, just make, make winning plays, really. What do you think – Scouts can see in this setting that they weren't able to see over the course of your four-year career. You guys were, um, you know, one of the t best teams in college basketball this year, and you were in a very visible place. You played some big games. What, what could they see here that they couldn't see in college? Uh, I, I could play with uh, some of the best of them. You know, um, our, our confidence, we, we were pretty good, but, you know, the, the mixture that we had here was, uh, you know, top guys from all over. You know, I, I felt like I held, held my own, you know, uh, and I did pretty good in this setting, and, uh, you know, I just uh, hope they could take that away, you know, that I, I could play with the best of them. Tell me a little bit about your background, where you're from, when you started playing, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm from uh, Chicago, Illinois, Maywood to be, you know, exact. Um, you know, I, I've been playing since I was a young kid, uh, six, seven, you know, at the YMCA. Um, you know, I've been watching my brother, you know, grow up, and then watching him play on all levels, so, uh, you know, that, that gave me my uh, drive and passion for the game, and, you know, I, and uh, I put in a little work, and I, I got good. How are, you know, things different for you? I mean, your brother was such a high-profile player, both in college and in the NBA. He had a, a great career. How did that help you, and how is that kind of different for you compared to other guys growing up in your age bracket? Uh, it helped me, you know. Uh, I, I seen what it what it took, you know, what it takes, you know, uh, all the hard work that he puts in, you know, uh, winning on all levels. Um, that 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 gave me a little, you know, uh, drive. And um, you know, uh, for for guys my level, I, I just really just go out there and try to play hard, you know, uh, try not to hold nothing back. You know, I know I got a lot of room for improvement, and uh, just got to keep working, like you tell me. How are you different than your brother? How do you guys compare? Uh, he's crazy athletic, you know, I, that's something that, uh, I'm starting to, you know, come into, come into my athleticism, uh, but, you know, I feel like, uh, I mean, I don't know, he, he can, he can really do everything, you know, I, I didn't watch them up close, you know, I, I see stuff people haven't seen, uh, but, you know, uh, I guess I can, you know, uh, uh it's tough, you know, I, I feel like I can, you know, handle the ball a little better and, you know, create, create plays for others, uh, better. No, um, but, you know, I, like I said, I got a lot of work to do. You did get a little bit more height. You're almost, you know, you've played the, the two and the three in college. You're almost tall enough and strong enough to play even some four if needed. Your, your brother is a little bit smaller, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, uh, no, I, I definitely try to use that to my advantage. You know, if it's a, a big who's too slow, I try to go past him. Now, if he, uh, you know, um, I mean, if he, yeah, like, I, yeah, pretty much I just try to use that as my, to my advantage. What uh, what's the next step for you in terms of um, you know becoming a more complete player? Oh uh, man, just working every day. You know, I, it's something I've been doing since you know I, uh, picked up a basketball. Just working at my whole game. You know, not just focusing on one aspect of it. You know, just trying to get better in all areas. And um, I, I feel like uh, I'm doing that. You know, I'm progressing pretty well. But you know, got to get more in a defensive mindset going into you know uh, this first year. First year as a pro. Um, no, that's what that's what the coaches and uh, my agents and scouts and everybody say they want to see from me. So I gotta, you know, definitely key in on that, and then, you know, let let everything else just just show on the floor. We saw you make some really athletic plays today in the open floor. Um, how good of a ball handler and creator are you in the half court? Uh, I feel like I'm pretty good. You know, um, just gotta, you know, just just stay aggressive. You know, stay on the attack mode. You know, that that gets the defense on their heels, and then from there, I'm able to read read the the defense. You know, make a good play, whether it's for myself, open shot, get to the basket, or you know, dumping it off to a big or kicking it to a wing for a shot. So I, I feel like uh, that's something I've definitely got better at. You shot a really high percentage for three this year, um, but not on a ton of attempts. Um, how how good of an outside shooter are you right now? And 
you know, do you feel like you've improved over in that uh, part of your game? Oh yeah, definitely. I I feel like I'm pretty good. You know, uh, you know, my confidence is there. It's just you know about getting reps. You know, uh, getting that that muscle memory and just you know having having that confidence going into a game. You know, it's different game time practice. You know, just putting up shots. But and I feel like uh, I can knock them down consistently. What are the next two and a half months going to look like for you? Work out crazy. Um, every day, all day. Um, you know, just getting better. Um, go be back in Chicago working out. So, you know, uh, definitely the competition that go you know, give me an edge. And, um, you know, just go go to the combine. If, I, if I'm fortunate enough to get enough, you know, uh, perform my best. And draft day comes, see what happens. And after that, you know, just keep working. And whatever happens, you know, it happens. Any players or teams that you like watching in the NBA, anyone that you enjoy in particular? Um, I, I like watching every team in the NBA uh, as far as players. Um, I say uh, Jimmy Butler's, um, the Paul George's, the Kawhi Leonard's, of course LeBron and Russell. Um, but, yeah, the, I would say those those main guys pretty much. How do you feel about the th the term 3 and D wing, and, and how you know, do you think that, that suits you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like it's – yeah, you can uh it suits me pretty well, but like I said, I mean I feel like I can guard more than one position, uh, from the point to the four. I definitely gotta work on some stuff, get stronger and you know, adjust to the the speed of you know, the NBA, but that's something that's gonna come over time and uh just like it did in college and you know, once I get that down packed, I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna be problems for people. Great stuff, man. Thanks so much. Yes, sir, thank you.